There you go. Uh, part B of the problem is just another dimensional analysis uh, application. And that is, what is the theoretical yield? The theoretical yield is the maximum possible. And it's going to be a, obviously limited by the limiting reagent. So it's the one that's obtained uh, uh, consuming all of the limiting reagent. We already found out in part A that uh, the uh, limiting reagent is sodium. So for part B, we're going to take the results we got from part A, uh, which was that we obtained uh, a 0 0.5 moles of sodium oxide. And uh, now we want to know what is the theoretical yield. Well, the theoretical yield, we've already answered. It's half a mole, but we traditionally need to have it in a form that's more useful. And so we have to put it into grams. So we can then answer part C. And so I need to go from half a mole of sodium oxide on the left-hand side uh, I'm going to need to go to grams, so I'm going to need to use the molecular mass, the molar mass of the sodium oxide. And there it is, 60 grams of sodium oxide that's going to go in the denominator, I mean, the, excuse me, the numerator. <laughs> and uh, for every one mole, sodium oxide, which goes in the denominator. And so now moles of sodium oxide cancel. I'm in grams of sodium oxide. So I'm already done. This is a simple one, uh, one to turn process. And so I have 1 half times 60, which turns out to be 30 grams. That answers part B. Uh, let's go on to do part C, since we're already, this is a sensuous thing. Since you was already here, we've done this much, we might as well answer part C. And part C is that uh, we actually obtained 15 grams of sodium oxide. What is the percent yield? Well, the percent yield is equal to the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield all multiplied times 100%. So we have to cast it in the parts per hundred or percent. And so the actual yield goes on the numerator and the theoretical yield in the denominator. We've already got all the information. And so that means that this is going to be equal to, uh, there was 15.0 grams of sodium oxide in the numerator and 30 grams of sodium oxide in the denominator, and that's going to be times 100%. Now, um, this uh, 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 expression, the units cancel. I can't have any uh, 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 sort of weird units, and uh, I'm asking what is the percent yield, and notice that the grams of sodium oxide cancel. So, it's very straightforward calculation. What's 15 divided by 30? It's going to be one half. And that's going to be equal, therefore, to 0.5 times 100, which is 50%, which answers part.